Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kai. And I'm Nadia. So today what we're going to be talking about is one of our favorite destinations and how, how to get to that destination. Everyone knows that we love going to the Bahamas. The Bahamas is one of our favorite spots to go to because it is so close to where we are right now. And we just have tons of fun every time we go to food, things to do. I mean, the place to stay, it is fun. It doesn't cost much to go there and people are always wondering what it's like on that ferry. So we're going to take you into some inside looks of what the ferry looks like and what's, what it has to offer. Stay tuned to the end of the video. You're going to get five tips about using this ferry.
So tip one, we're talking about first class. Now we like to use the first class option because um, it is at the top level of the ferry. There's only two levels and um, there's not a lot of foot traffic up there. It's quiet. There's a little bit more space for you also. Um, only thing is, is that there's not a bathroom up there, but um, it's not uh, very expensive to be able to go to the first class option. Tip number two, go ahead and buy some German meat before you uh, take the trip because you're going to need it, especially if you're not used to traveling by boat, ferry, or any kind of vessel. Um, it can make you a little bit sleepy, but by the time you get there, you're well rested and ready to get on to your adventure. One thing I want to tell you about the Dramamine is that we also give it to our son and I like to crush it up and just put it in a little bit of juice and smooth sailing. Tip number three. Tip number three applies to when you're returning with the vessel. You might want to go ahead and sit to the right of the duty free shop. What a duty free shop is, just stand in front of the duty free shop, look to your right, you want to sit over there in that area because when the boat embarks back to the US, mainland USA, that is where you will be exiting from. So you want to be first out. And the reason why you want to be first out is because when you get down to the bottom of the stairs to customs, the line can be very long, depends on how many people are in that ferry. So definitely sit to the right of the duty free shop. Tip number four, passports. You wanna make sure that you have your passports and your documents ready. You are traveling through international waters. So a lot of times people don't think about that, but yeah, you need your passports. Even though the Bahamas is just right there, you're still traveling through international waters. So be sure to make sure you have your passport, make sure that it's not expired or anything or that sort. Tip number five, you wanna make sure that you arrive early. It'd be a shame to spend the money to go on this trip and then your vessel leaves you because it will. So you wanna make sure that you're there about two hours ahead of time. Also, it gives you the opportunity to choose the seat that you want because seats are not pre-assigned. Yep, it's not pre-assigned. So I've seen it to where people have probably showed up late and they get the bottom of the barrel seat, so be there and be on time and here we go we got a bonus tip for you the reason why this is a bonus tip because it applied to us and it happened to us the last time we went to the bahamas so when you're going to the bahamas and if you're spending overnight there at the bahamas make sure that you let them know where your final stop is and make sure that they tag your bags appropriately because if you don't if you go back and look at our bimini, bimini video you will see we didn't have no bags. I'm happy that I have all my clothes <laughs> and that you got just lost. So make sure that you t t your bags are tagged appropriately. We were in Bimini, our bags were in Freeport. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the videos and be sure to look at our other videos.